obviously what just occurred in the courtroom was scary and just caused a lot of level of discomfort. And for all of you that are in the galley, um, I'm sorry that happened. I'm sorry that you had to experience it. I know myself, my heart started beating fast and my legs felt shaky because of that quick eruption of violence. This is such a unique case that involves hundreds of victims and therefore hundreds of family members, brothers, sisters, spouses, friends, and to have watched the pain and the suffering of what loved ones have gone through is imaginable. And I recognize that Mr. Margraves had three daughters that he has had to watch go through the pain and the hurt. We heard two of his daughters speak today. I understand his other daughter spoke in Ingham County. And so if it is hard and difficult for me to hear what his daughters have to say, I can't imagine what it is like for a parent. And no one is making any excuses for what the defendant did in this case. However, these are legal proceedings and the criminal justice system is doing what it is supposed to do. We are going to listen, I am going to listen to all of the impact statements. I'm going to apply the law and Mr. Nassar will be sentenced. That's our legal system. He has already been sentenced, as you all know, in federal court. That sentence will consume the rest of his natural life. He has been sentenced in Ingham County. The same thing. That is how our, our system works. We cannot react by using physical violence and assault against someone who is and has performed criminal acts. That's not how our system works. What Mr. Nassar did is horrible. It's unthinkable. But please, let the criminal justice system do what it is supposed to do and issue the punishment that he should get. I know it is hard, but I need to ask all of you to try and not react in any physical way. It is not appropriate. It does not send the right message. It actually just causes more pain and more discomfort. And certainly we have enough of that already in this courtroom as a result of the defendant's actions.